Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you but before we do that if you haven't seen it check it out i did a uh, a live stream with the kelly rosano on her channel if you want to see the replay please head over to her channel and check it out i am also if you've ever wondered about the links between the major arcana and the uh, the zodiac of you know the astrology zodiac and all of the planets and where i get all of those associations and stuff from please head over to astrology with heather i'm working with heather from astrology with Heather. She's an amazing astrologer, super knowledgeable, and she's super, super sweet. You will love her. Um, we're going to be doing this big project together about this work. So if you love it and you want to find out about that, head over to her channel and subscribe. With that said, let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. Your destiny card this week is the Hermit card. This is your card. This is your card. This is your energy. So look at that. You've got the Hermit, right? Which represents Virgo. Uh, can also sometimes as well represent Saturn as a planet. Rarely, but sometimes. Um, so gorgeous, right? And what this kind of says is that the destiny card is your energy for the week. This is about you delving into not only your own wisdom, but this could be a week where a lot of you kind of say, you know what, I'm going to go for a social media cleanse. I'm going to pull myself out of the melee that is, you know, if you work online, it's obviously slightly different. You have to kind of keep some sort of uh, some sort of knowledge in the loop but for a lot of you I could see you kind of saying look you know what I'm not getting into this and you can see there's a lot of intensity building up online a lot of people seem to have a lot to say and you know like these people are right and these people are wrong and, and it's all just a bit much and I feel like you could be withdrawing from the world in that respect this week I feel like a lot of you are kind of saying you know what I'm not really up for all of that bullshit so I'm just going to pull myself out and, you know, maybe check in every so often. Are you guys done yet? Are you finished yet? No? Okay, cool. I'm going to stay here. Um, the other thing is with the Destiny card, this is the overall energy or theme. And with the Hermit, this is about knowledge. It's about wisdom. It's about going on a quest for knowledge or wisdom. For some of you, you could be, and we talked about this, I think, in your April reading, you could be going on a quest for knowledge. This could be you delving into some sort of new learning. Uh, this is a perfect time for it, right? You know, taking that online course, getting qualified in something that you've always wanted to do. This could be a lot of you really going in for that right now and really asking yourself, you know, what um because a lot of you are going into some sort of teaching right which i've noticed which is fantastic um you, you could do you could you know a virgo teacher awesome because everything you ask they've got an answer for great uh you know especially for me because uh, <laughs> i ask so many questions all the time but this is about you specifically doing some form of learning and for some of you this could be about you looking for um uh, looking for ways to do something that haven't been done before or ways that are new to the world. This is about you uncovering knowledge that hasn't necessarily seen the light of day for quite some time. So for some of you, so as uh, in terms of like if you're studying astrology, you could be going into or looking at ancient astrology. Uh, if you're looking at, um, you know, uh, medicine, you could be saying, right, you know what, I want to go back to the plant medicine. I want to look at, you know, the, the, the older things. This is about delving into that sort of older ancient or hidden wisdom for your direction card you have the ten of wands right this is the release of the burden and this is in many ways what i keep hearing at the moment now that i've seen this card is this is about you releasing yourself from the shackles uh, whatever that is whether this is societal baggage hence the you know withdrawing maybe the social media cleanse this could be a lot of you just kind of saying you know what i don't want that energy in my life and i'm going to take a break from it now your ten of wands is also about movement for a lot of you 
you know, journey, quest and all the rest of it. I feel like a lot of you might be gearing up to change something about your personal environment or at least planning some sort of exploratory trip. Now, I would have said for usually that this is kind of some sort of move but for a lot of you, I feel like this is just to go and check a place out. Once everything starts moving, I feel like a lot of you are making plans to go and visit places that are potentials for you to live, um, which is interesting. So we're going to look at mass migration of movement for Virgos. Um, the other thing is, <coughs> with your Ten of Wands, Tens are completions. So this could be about you seeking a new avenue. And if you're getting qualified in something different, if you're gaining knowledge and information on something, it stands to reason that you could be starting a new job or looking for a new avenue of work. Uh, you know, awesome. And then finally, for your insight card, what is coming in or making its way or presence known in your life? And this week you get, okay, it seems to be that one. You've got the two of swords. This is really a time for you to, <coughs> excuse me, this is a time for you to trust your, your own innate vision. This is a time for you to really check in with your own feelings. This is not necessarily a word that we associate with Virgos, but the two of swords is about, yes, it's about your own psychic awareness, but it's also about how how you feel. It's about checking in with your feelings and asking yourself, you know what, what is the gut reaction here? What is the gut response? Where do I actually feel like I'm being guided? And yes, this is also a, a card of decisions. It tells me that in two months time, you will have a decision to make about where you choose to live, uh, which is interesting because we're currently in April. So May, June, let's say, right? And interestingly enough, uh, through all the readings that I've done, the message seems to be very clear. Uh, international flights, etc., will resume as of June. So that looks like the, the time frame that you guys are keeping to. I'm really intrigued. Uh, please hit me up in the comments. Let me know how this goes for you because I'm really, really interested to see what how this plays out for Virgos. It's a very interesting energy. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.